September may bring crisp fall weather, but we're bringing you a breath of fresh air with real news reporting. Hi everyone, I'm Cameron Coleman and welcome to 7 on 7, bringing you VNN's top seven news stories from around the globe. In our lead story, the Federal Bureau of Superhuman Affairs seems to have strong-armed Vought International into a new partnership that FBSA claims will root out the bad apples amidst their superhuman community. No comment from Vought CEO Stan Edgar, but Congresswoman Newman, unsurprisingly, couldn't pass up the chance to hear herself speak. Let's take a listen to what she had to say. For too long, members of the superhuman community have played by their own rules. Through a joint effort with Vought International, we'll work together to see that heroes who engage in over-aggressive, rogue conduct and unlawful activities are held accountable to the very same laws that they claim to uphold. Wow. A few, and we're talking a minuscule fraction of these so-called bad apples, and Victoria Newman is already calling for America's heroes to be rounded up. Not only is this completely irresponsible, it jeopardizes the safety of our nation. Unbelievable. In true celebration of America's freedoms, Vought's recent Gal Gear Tactical Firearms for Women launch continues to be a hot seller. Ladies across the country, as well as some men, are snatching up the popular pink pistols faster than a speeding bullet, with product sales seeing a nearly 200% increase since their debut, proving that just because you need to stay safe doesn't mean you can't do it in style. Obviously not the track news we were expecting him to drop, but A-Train released his new single, Faster, last week. And while fans seem to be loving the new single that's speeding up the charts, recent Vought Buzz polls show that everyone agrees that yes, this was a bit of a nice surprise, but they're more anxious to see the blue blur back to doing what he does best, running. Following a long absence from the public eye, Homelander was the guest of honor this week at the grand opening of Whataburger in Logan, Utah. The leader of the seven seemed back to his old charismatic self as he smiled for pictures and spent time with fans, all while enjoying his signature Big Homie Burger with a side of crispy Freedom Tots and a vanilla American milkshake. Mm. Great to see Homelander back and surrounded by his fans. Truly an inspiration for all of us. Coming up, Votland's inclusion, expansion, a San Diego super stunner, and more after this. Come on back. With Vought Plus, you have the power to control the greatest content in the world. Enjoy the action and the excitement of all of your favorite Vought Studio films and series. Plus, stay informed with reliable news you can count on from people you can trust. Plus, never miss a game. 24 7 coverage of your favorite sports teams. Plus, Programs for women that tell the stories we want to see. Plus. Plus. From urban beats to city streets. Shows that put diverse voices front and center. Plus. Timeless stories of heroes who may be gone, but are never forgotten. Plus. 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 Vought Plus. The world's premier super streaming service. Sign up now. Starlight and Queen Maeve came together for a very special team-up of unity and diversity this week as they broke ground on Votland's newest park, Brave Maeve's Inclusive Kingdom, replacing the park's long-standing Queen Maeve's Battle World. The Seven's diva duo stood tall and proud amidst a record-breaking crowd of LGBTQ supporters, spreading a double rainbow of tolerance across the entire park. Vought Sports recently announced that Moonshadow, the West Coast Census scrambling bombshell, will be gracing the cover of their annual Super Swimsuit Spectacular issue next year. The San Diego-based superheroine continues to take charge with a body-positive persona that's seeing her popularity continue to go up as her city's crime rate keeps going down. Seems like this is one rising hero that Vought executives and the rest of the world won't be able to take their eyes off of. I know I'll be getting my copy. Okay, this is ridiculous. In today's final story, despite consistent and repeated allegations from the mainstream media, Vought continues to deny any affiliation with the Sage Grove Center, the psychiatric facility accused of testing Compound V on its patients. 
Sources say Vought is apparently so appalled by the unethical treatment of patients at this facility that they are planning to purchase the building, which experienced extensive fire damage, and convert it into a new global wellness center. Amazing. Nothing like ending on some good news. It gives us hope for the future and pride in a great American company. Well, that's all for now. So for me and everyone here at Vought Tower, stay true to the red, white, and blue, and I'll see you next time.